Aussie animalisms. Australian English idiomatic expressions involving animals. Good day, mates. Today, we're going to journey into the wild world of Australian English, focusing on idiomatic expressions related to animals, particularly native Australian ones. Australia is known for its unique and diverse wildlife, and you'll be surprised to see how these creatures have influenced the local slang. So, let's dive in and learn some animal-inspired Aussie idioms. Our first stop is the iconic Australian animal, the kangaroo. Let's see how it hops into their everyday language. To have a roo loose in the top paddock. This phrase is a playful way to say that someone isn't thinking clearly or is a little crazy. It's not offensive, just a good-natured Aussie ribbing. For example, if you think you can beat the traffic at this hour, you must have a roo loose in the top paddock. Kangaroo court. This term refers to a court or tribunal that seems to ignore recognized standards of law or justice. So, if you hear someone say, that was a kangaroo court, it means they felt the proceedings were unfair or unjust. Next up are expressions involving the emu and dingo, other well-known Australian animals. As rare as an emu's teeth, emus don't have teeth, so this expression means something is extremely rare or even non-existent. An example might be, a quiet day in the city is as rare as an emu's teeth. A dingo's breakfast. This phrase refers to a day when you don't eat breakfast, implying that you just get up, look around, and do very little, just like a dingo might do. For example, I was in such a rush this morning, I had a dingo's breakfast. Let's look at a couple more expressions involving other native Australian animals. Flat out like a lizard drinking. This means to be very busy. Despite the imagery, lizards actually drink quite slowly, so the phrase is humorous and slightly ironic. For example, I've been flat out like a lizard drinking all week. Mad as a cut snake. This is used to refer to someone who is extremely angry. Example. He was as mad as a cut snake when he found out they had lost the contract. And there you have it, mates. Some colorful Aussie idiomatic expressions featuring their unique wildlife. Remember, language is a big part of culture, and understanding these phrases will not only help you in communicating but also in appreciating Australian culture and humor. I hope you've enjoyed this little journey into the Australian English wilderness. Keep practicing these idioms, and soon you'll sound as Australian as a kangaroo on a boogie board. Catch you later, mates.